Tap your heels together three times. And think to yourself, there's no place like home. When Dorothy clicked her ruby heels together and murmured, there's no place like home, there's no place like home, she was speaking for all of us. Home really is where the heart is. So let's look at home. The doors are open, the rockers are on the front porch. Welcome home to Colleton County. It's a summer Saturday. And those visiting cousins have just asked you to show them life in a real low country community. Let's start at its center, at the Colleton Museum, Farmer's Market, and Commercial Kitchen. From there, we will follow the paths out through a community built on the encouragement, creation, celebration, and sharing of art, culture, business development, and quality of life issues like health, exercise, and the beauty of our natural world. The Colleton Museum and Farmer's Market opened at its East Washington Street location in 2011 with a dual mission of preserving and promoting the historical, natural, and cultural heritage of Colleton County and of providing a thriving public market for local small farmers and craft vendors. The museum's spaces celebrate the arts, culture, and history of our community and the farmer's market showcases and supports our agricultural roots and our current wealth of family farms and cottage industries. Here we can visit museum collections, art exhibits, and interactive children's spaces learning about our past, our natural landscapes, and the talents and work of our fellow Colletonians. Here we can plan healthy meals with locally grown fruits and vegetables, purchase plants and gather tips for keeping our own gardens flourishing, or find the cut flowers and craft items that brighten up our homes. In addition, there are public spaces available for rent, for family reunions, parties, wedding receptions, and other private or community events. The Commercial Kitchen opened in 2015 and is located next to and connected to the museum facility. Its mission is to provide the physical kitchen infrastructure and training opportunities needed to support, incubate, and educate present and future local food business entrepreneurs in order to assist in the creation of farm-to-table food service business ventures, restaurant startups, and commercial food preparation, presentation, and production job opportunities. In its first year of operation, two companies advanced to sell product in grocery stores and both still cook out of the Colleton facility. The retail food space at the facility sells only products produced by the kitchen and it is a popular gathering spot for lunch or coffee and a pastry, all prepared on site. While the kitchen's emphasis is on the creation of food businesses, there are also a number of popular classes for the general public such as sausage, cheese, and bread making. The Colleton Museum, Farmer's Market, and Commercial Kitchen facility touches the art, culture, history, agriculture, food business, and spirit of the Colleton community. Using it as the hub of a wheel, we can now move out along the spokes to visit other essential elements of our home. The South Carolina Artisan Center is the official folk art and craft center for the state of South Carolina. It is a showcase and market for over 200 of the finest juried South Carolina artists. Its mission is to interpret, market, preserve, and perpetuate the folk arts and fine craftsmanship of this state's artisans, while creating a better understanding of our rich and diverse cultural heritage. The center features a retail outlet, educational and interpretive exhibits, craft demonstrations, and live performances and special events. Located right next door is the Colleton County Arts Council, an organization that promotes a cultural, social, economic, and educational climate in which the artistic heritage and creativity of its people may find voice. Thousands of local children and adults and scores of professional artists from throughout the region take part in visual and performing arts classes and performances. The Colleton Center is a 501c3 organization whose mission is to provide for the renovation and preservation of the historic Hampton Street Elementary School building. To develop a premier arts and civic center, 
to sponsor and present arts and educational performances and events, and to provide low-cost studio space for the use of artists in pursuing their chosen media, all in order to serve the interests and talents of our diverse Lowcountry residents and visitors. One of the recipients of funding from the 2014 1% Capital Sales Tax Initiative, the Colleton Center slash Hampton Street Auditorium will undergo a close to $2 million renovation starting the spring of 2017. Originally designed by local architect John Trulock, this auditorium was considered an architectural marvel when the former elementary school opened for classes in 1942. Acoustics were excellent, the backside and below stage areas were built to allow for large cast movement, costume change, and scenery shifts. The audience area was enormous with a balcony that floated above the main floor, held up by a steel truss with no supporting columns. Today, the Hampton Street Auditorium is a valuable community asset within our community. Following another spoke from our community wheel, let's examine the emphasis on healthy activity. With the incentive of healthy eating, initiatives evolving from the farmer's market and an active and involved Eat Smart, Move More organization, Colleton has developed a number of walking and or biking trails and other recreational opportunities to keep her people up and moving. The Walterboro Wildlife Sanctuary offers boardwalks, walking trails, bicycle paths, canoe, kayak trails, and nature observation areas. Because it is located right in the city of Walterboro, it is a popular spot with locals for exercise and dog walking, as well as a destination for visitors who enjoy the best of comfortable ecotourism. Part of the Ace Basin, the sanctuary has an abundance of birds and native wildlife populations. We share the space with ducks, songbirds, wild turkeys, deer, fox, raccoons, opossum, beavers, snakes, and the occasional alligator. Colleton Regional Medical Center has a walking park built right next to its facility. This is a small trail, but run or walk around it four times to make your daily mile. The Colleton County Recreation Center offers several walking trails, including one just over a half mile in length that circles the baseball and softball complex. Parents can take a little exercise themselves while their kids pursue their field practices. So eat smart and move more. Go Colleton! Colleton County prides itself on being a business-friendly community. We seek to encourage large corporations to move here, we work to keep existing businesses thriving, and we support the small entrepreneurs starting out, some in the commercial kitchen, and others at their own facilities put together through hard work and good ideas. Johnny Stieglitz, with his beekeeping and product Fiddler's Honey, and Breland Hill Farms, known for their beautiful strawberries, along with Sarlaflex and Floralife Incorporated, are important to the economic strength of our county. The final spoke in our community wheel is history. Just a short distance from the Colleton Museum facility is the Beden Lucas House, one of the few remaining high houses in Colleton County, and the Little Library both protected and preserved by the Colleton County Historical and Preservation Society. Established in 1958, the Society endeavors to preserve historical materials, encourage protection of historic buildings, and promote appreciation of Colleton's architectural assets. It was actually through the Society that the Colleton Museum was first established. Another piece of Colleton history is commemorated by the Harriet Tubman Bridge on Highway 17 over the Cumbee River. Harriet Tubman is, of course, famous for being a conductor on the Underground Railroad, but she also served the Union Army by helping to lead a Union raid on several plantations, thus freeing 750 slaves on the night of June 2, 1863. Activist, conductor, spy, and hero, Harriet Tubman is an important part of our history. From the Ace Basin Highway, we move on to the Tuskegee Airmen's Memorial Park, situated on the grounds of the Lowcountry Regional Airport. During World War II, the United States military was segregated, with African Americans mostly relegated to support roles. Not so with the 332nd Fighter Group, 
Formed in 1941 by Congress as the 99th Pursuit Squadron, this was the only all-black flying unit in the American military at that time. The pilots of this famed fighting unit completed their training in Walterboro, South Carolina at the Walterboro Army Airfield, the site of what is now the regional airport. As Tuskegee Airman Bill Holloman said, the Tuskegee story is about pilots who rose above adversity and discrimination and opened a door once closed to black America. These airmen are honored today by a monument placed on the grounds of the airport where they trained and by a permanent exhibit on view at the Colleton Museum. And so, we are back at the hub of our wheel, our community, our home. Colleton County is a place of diversity, of arts and culture, food and history, rural landscapes and small town streets, of team sports and unorganized play, of work for farmers, fishermen, cooks, painters, poets, and potters, of the high-tech tool and the good old-fashioned shovel. We acknowledge our past and look forward to the promise of the future. What better foundation to build upon than the encouragement, creation, celebration, and sharing of art, culture, business development, health, and the rich quality of life in Colleton County.